Hello everyone, thanks for joining the video and today I'm gonna go through a couple pictures and um, today the main topic is uh, I'm using the uh, white balance, auto white balance uh, white priority in the studio photo shoot uh, with the natural light coming from the window on this uh, side uh, window you can see that the lighting is from the side window uh, the reflection from the eyes uh, from the window so uh, this is the from the new lens uh, Voltrox 27 f1.2 I want to test it out in the studio environment just to see uh, how it uh, looks like uh, in the studio environment and uh, so overall uh, it's pretty good in the studio so inside the studio I set the ISO to 400 so that I can attract more lights so these are the 400 ISO uh, the sharpness are still very good on the eyes uh, the rendering from the uh, our focus area is still pretty uh, smooth transition um, but the, uh, the sharpness still uh, the main uh, very sharp so uh, for the for the white balance uh, because uh, I usually set the custom white balance as uh, around 6100k to 6500k depends on the outside environment of the sunlight but because of the studio uh, the white uh, the wall are white and then I try to, um, to switch to the uh, white balance uh, priority uh, there's a new uh, auto white balance setting is the uh, white priority so that uh, if you eliminate some of the yellow light ambient so um, overall still the skin the skin tone is still pretty good and uh, by the way the frame simulation is the pro neck high so uh, out right out of the camera you can see a lot of contrast already you can see that the contrast the dark is uh, pretty dark uh, from from the color tone already so uh, straight out of camera it has a nice contrast straight out of camera already so let's set, uh, go to another set yep the focus um, as you've seen in the video the the focus uh, rectangle uh, shape uh, eye autofocus uh, tracker it was always like tracking on the eyes uh, in the studio environment and um, the focus is very sharp uh, on the eyes uh, itself so overall pretty impressive on the autofocus uh, in this kind of environment and uh, um, auto white balance uh, still uh, uh, preserve uh, pretty nice uh, skin tone on the skin from the auto white balance white priority so there are three settings just a regular default auto white balance and then there's an ambient priority and then there's a white priority so I just want to test out the white priority on this lens on this new uh, Voltrox 27 f1.2 uh, Pro lens just to see how it goes so yep uh, pretty good so this uh, this one I uh, shoot straight to the uh, to the facing of the model so that you can see the side light uh, the light from the side create a shadow and contrast um, from the uh, low key side uh, from the shadow so that it create a little bit of cinematic uh, look uh, from the side uh, as well so um, the sharpness still uh, on eyes uh, very sharp you can see that the makeup uh, very sharp and um, the focus is very good uh, for the portraits uh, in this uh, Voltrox 27 f1.2 Pro lens um, so the the first thought uh, from this shoot is uh, okay yep uh, ISO 400 still pretty sharp uh, in the low uh, low light available, available light uh, just from the window just one window light uh, to uh, light up the portrait so and and uh, the color output from the auto white balance uh, white priority is pretty good uh, you can see that a lot of different color tone in here and the skin color uh, skin tone is still pretty good uh, straight out of camera these are all straight out of camera JPEG and um, so yep that's my first impression and if you have uh, any comments uh, on this uh, white balance uh, setting have you shoot in the auto white balance or have you shoot in the 
uh, like the uh, custom K uh, Y balance. Uh, let me know in the comments below and thanks so much for the support and stay tuned for more video coming up. Bye! T-shirts, so it smells like